You are about to listen to an exclusive interview on Maximum Threshold Radio. Thanks for listening to us at MaximumThreshold.net. Horns up, fists in the air. Hey, this is Dominic, and I'm with... Bob from Long Time Divided. That's right. You guys are from Pittsburgh, man. What's up, everybody? So, how, how's it going, man? Uh, going pretty well, you know? Just doing our thing, playing our shit, doing what we do. So, for, before we start breaking down your band and everything, want to tell people how they can get hold of your music and where they can find you at? Uh, longtimedivided.com, uh, longtimedivided, blah, 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 Facebook, Twitter, all that shit. Same old shit. Everybody knows that. So how long you guys been together as a band? Uh, I want to say about four years now. You know, uh, you know, every, everybody's been doing it much longer than that. But the, the current the current lineup is about I think about four years. Uh, I might be off on that by about uh, six months or so. But oh well, go fuck yourself. Nice. <laughs> so for people who's not familiar with your music, um, can you tell them a little bit how you, the style of music you play? Uh, well, you know, it's like, uh, I don't know, I think we want to, I think we kind of set out to do like a, a middle ground kind of deal, like we don't want to, we, we want to go somewhere between awesome and uh, almost awesome, you know, so we, we're kind of like three quarters awesome. Uh, basically it goes down between, it's somewhere between metal and hard rock. I mean, you know, I, I think Figure 11 said it best, the middle ground, you know, I, and that's where we're at. I mean, like, well, you know, it, it, it's not metal, it's not your it, fucking blues riff rock and roll either. It's it's somewhere in between like there. A straight hard rock. Yeah, you know, it, it's, it's somewhere in the middle. Like, yeah, we play some harder riffs sometimes, but yet the, the singer's not screaming some guttural shit that you don't understand. You know, he's, he's saying, he, he, honestly, the things he says, I still don't even know because it, it's too deep for me. I don't, I, I choose not to go there. It, it puts me in a dark place and I start, I start beating my kids, which I have none. So what do you do in the band? I play bass guitar. 22 years now. Biatch! Are you any good though? Am I any good? Yes. Me? I'm playing that long. <laughs> I suck. I'm terrible. <laughs> yeah, uh, there, there's no point in doing what I do. <laughs> uh, that's a joke. Yeah, I've been doing it for 22 years. I mean, uh, you know, I carry on in my normal life. This is what I, you know, I do what I have to do. But you know, but everybody, like, what, what the people that get to see me, the people that know me in my normal life get to see me do what I do. They're kind of a little bit astonished. They're like, "Holy shit, is that you?" I'm like, "Yeah, motherfucker." <laughs> That's me. What's up? Nice to meet you. You know. So you got a guy in your band who has a real bad Irish accent. How many times is he? Can you not understand what the hell he's saying? Oh uh, well, to be exact, four and a half. There was that one time I kind of caught it, then I missed it, and I thought he was talking about having sex with cats. Does his accent ever rub off on you guys? You try to imitate him? Uh, well, oh, uh, well, you know, yeah, well. I am I am Scottish, Irish, Welsh, and then I got some Polish, not in me, like literally, like that, you freaks. But uh, yeah, a little. <laughs> so like, I fuck with him, he fucks with me. I, I talk like he does. He tries to talk like I do. Like, listen to me, I'm I'm straight from Pittsburgh, man. I don't give a shit. Fuck, he, he, you know, he'll he'll try to lay down the best Pittsburghese, and I'm like, dude, it's just yeah, just stay, just stay over there. I'm like, yeah, just let me imitate you. Like, you know, it's much better that way. <laughs> So we've been playing a long time to buy the music on a radio show here for a while. You know, the last one that came out, the last demos that you had but before the CD, we were playing it off the latest one. And we had a really great reception. We actually still have some of your music. It's still in our rotation, our 24-7 player on our website. That's awesome, man. I mean, you know, keep it in there no matter what. Because uh, if you don't, I'll kill you. Well, I, I have I have good insurance, so if you do kill me, that means my daughter will make off close to two hundred thousand dollars. I'm only looking out for your daughter. I, mean, well, fuck, I know, me too. Fuck you. I mean, uh, fuck me too. I mean, uh, now, really, on the, uh, that's awesome. I, like we always appreciate that. There's there's no doubt about that. And like you know, bands like us need this sort of thing. We we have to have this. If we don't have this, we have nothing. So I mean, like every the people that come out to the shows, the people that promote the music, that you know, no one's. Really 
really heard of until they've heard of it. Oh, yeah. Then I mean that's I mean that's how you get there. You know, like all you know those days of like well Mr. Big being at the fucking next big show, yeah. that's over. You know, like you have to everybody starts somewhere and you have to start somewhere. That's right. Don't start somewhere you haven't started. So of course you have to start somewhere. So when you do and you know you need people to to help you out. I mean there's no doubt about that. And anything that we do, I mean like we're dumbasses, we're bricks, we're douchebags. But you know what? We fucking love what we do. We love the music. We believe in what we do. And anybody that wants to help us, we totally like literally 100% from the heart appreciate that because it means so much to me. I couldn't even tell you how much that shit means to me. This is what I do. Like I said, I've been doing it for 22 years. I'm 37 years old, man. That, like that's over half my life. Just oh, yeah. What I do, you know, I. I can't even really, really express the words what that shit means to us because it means a lot. So thank you very much. So if you could be any type of tree, what kind of tree would you want to be? Well, I mean, some women have uh, called me a redwood, and yet I'm not Native American. That's the biggest bullshit. Anyway, uh, well, really? Uh, fuck. Uh, it, how about a flower? No. If you want to be a flower, you can be a flower. Fuck flowers. You want to be a fern? <laughs> I'd be a I'd be a mountain fern. I like the mountains. <laughs> what what band would you guys like to um, actually get on a road and tour with? Any. Uh, but, but, but to be specific, uh, any, uh, maybe their friends' bands or, or any band that might like take an interest in us and have us along for the ride. Nice. <laughs> so something you don't have to buy on to. I'm sorry, what? So some, some, some tour that you don't have to buy on to. You have to pay to be on tour. Nah, fuck that bullshit. <laughs> I, dude, I... I'm a regular dude, you know? Like, I I go to work every fucking day, and I, I do an excellent job of what I do, but, you know, it's labor-intensive. I install granite countertops, motherfucker. That shit's heavy as fuck. Like, you think you... Like, picking up a dresser heavy? I don't fucking think so. How, how about picking up ten dressers at once? You think that's heavy? Yeah, that's a little bit more like it. That's what I do during a fucking normal fucking day, so... Uh, well, to be quite honest, any get me the fuck out of there. I need to. Fu- this is what I do. This is what I believe in. This is who I am. This is what I'm passionate about. Give it to me, please. Somebody, give me a fucking break. Anybody out there listening, please give me a break. I need it. So, have you been with the long time divider from the beginning? Absolutely. I formed this band. Nice. What was your thought process when you put the band together? Well, basically, like what we kind of said, you know, we we don't want to go too far in any direction, but we want to play good music, you know. Um, I mean, that's always been the, the stickler. We have to play good music no matter what the fuck we're doing, no matter what direction it really goes. You know, if it goes one side or the other, you know, if it goes one side or the other, but it has to be good, you know. And, I, I mean, the guys I have with me are, I mean, just amazing. Uh, I mean, Bill, Bill's... I love Bill, man. Me and Bill played another band together, you know, back in the day, and you know, he, he's just a great songwriter. He has a great ear. He's a natural musician. He has a fucking perfect pitch. You know, I mean, like you play something, he's there with it. You know, Paulie. Well, Paulie is the most Irish member of our band, and also the gayest. And it has nothing to do with him being Irish. I'm also Irish, and I'm not gay at all. Sorry, everybody. Have you ever, have you ever caught him with a, any uh, a tranny or a post-op tranny? No, but I spooned with him once in Geneva on the Lake Ohio. Did he swallow? I, I said spoon. Oh, I'm sorry. That, that's a little different. Same thing. <laughs> kind of. Depends on what part of the country you're from. <laughs> you're in Frisco, it's the same thing. That's just a nickname for it. Absolutely. Yeah, no, but, you know, our, our newest edition, Slick, We, I mean, we had another guy jumping from, for us originally, and uh, he was good, but, I mean, Slick just... He just puts it to a whole nother level, you know. I mean, meticulous mechanical calculation. I mean, you know, for for a middle ground band to have a straight up death metal drummer that could do that, yeah. if you want to, I mean, that's priceless. I mean, just to be able to go. I'm all up on the microphone. 
but he would, like literally, you know. And DJ DJ writes like lyrics that like I have to think about, you know. Like what is he talking about? And it makes me think. And that, like I, gone are the days of like, well, I don't give a fuck what he fucking saying, you know, because uh, no, it doesn't matter to me. I just play this and I just do that. No, man, this is an extension of me. No matter what the fuck we're all doing together, it is an extension of me on a personal level. So, I mean, I take it very personally. This is this is who I am. This is what I do. You know, uh, uh, my nipples are hard right now. Thank you. You're quite welcome. I'm glad I can make that happen. It wasn't you. Well, I, well, I thought it was. Uh, well, okay. That's fine. We, we can make it you for now. Maybe it's a, a strong smell of urine in the club. I'm sorry. I pissed myself. That's okay. <laughs> You're cracking me up, man. You made, I had to give you a high five on that one. So one more time, how can people get a hold of your music? Uh, longtimedivided.com. I think that'll take you to all our social media shit, but it's always Long Time Divided, whatever, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. We have actually, I think uh, like a month ago, we had like 500 Twitter followers, and we're like uh, like 4,000 now. So. I mean, we're like really gunning for that shit. Like, yeah, you know, it's not people coming out to shows, but it's people that know about your music, you know what I mean? And, and that's invaluable. You, you, you can't put a price on that. If people know about you, they know about you. If they don't know about you, they don't know about you. That's right. I think I'd rather have them know about me. That's quite true. I really appreciate the time, man. You know, hey, anytime. anytime, like, you know, we get a chance to do this sort of thing, I'm all in. All in, always, no matter what. So, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. How's your vibe about? Because the place here, man, you got a lot of people here, here to see you guys today. I mean, I just look out there, and I just see the, the, the crowd out there waiting for you guys. How's it make you feel just looking out there? Well, it is fathomless. It, it really is. I, I don't know how to really explain my feelings right now, except for... That was perfect. Thank you. That, 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 that says it perfectly. I want to thank you very much for being on the show here and taking a little time and talking about the band and everything. So I definitely want to keep you, uh, keep you like I've, like I said, we have your music in rotation. We're going to keep it going. We're going to do everything we can to help you guys get to the next level. Oh, man, that, that, that means so much to us. Like, literally, it really does. Like... If it wasn't for support like that, I mean, you know, we'd all be stuck in the, you know, the city we're from, you know? And the fact that we can get out there to, like, a worldwide, uh, you know, audience is amazing. I mean, because, I mean, that's where you want to go eventually, right? You might as well start somewhere, you know? Hey, if you, hey, man, you think you can help me out? Yeah, hey, well, you know, let's just all scratch these other backs, dude. That's the way it goes, dude, so... You know, if I can help you, you can help me. We can help everybody. And if maybe the person listening, maybe I'll scratch your back. But don't get all freaky about that. It's a little gay. <laughs> okay, we'll let you get going here because I see you got a lot of people there waiting at your merch booth for you guys. Holy shit. Wow. I have never seen that many people. <laughs> okay, thanks again, man, for being on the show. Thank you, man. I appreciate it so much. Thank you.
You have just listened to an exclusive interview on Maximum Threshold Radio. Thanks for listening and please visit us at MaximumThreshold.net.